Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, my name is Jay Kissa and I love the TV show Nailed It. I've been watching it and I just wanna bake stuff. Anyways, today I'm gonna be doing a first impressions and swatches of the brand new Dose of Colors and I love Serai collection. I absolutely adore I Love Serai. She is so incredibly sweet and so nice and just like so down to earth. I just really love her. I went to the party yesterday with Mariah, so I will make sure to insert some footage so you can see if you didn't see on my Instagram stories. But I'm really excited to play with this collection. It, it just came in the mail this morning and I went and worked out and now I'm here to talk about it. So let's talk about everything that we have going on. Let me look at Trend Mood. Trend Mood has all the info. So there is an eyeshadow palette and first of all, can we talk about the packaging is so beautiful. It is just like, I look at this and just fall in love with it because it is going to stand out in your collection but it's not going to scream at you. It's more of a whisper and I love that. The eyeshadow palette is going to retail for $35. There are two matte shades and then four shimmery metallic shades. There is a mirror in the palette as well, so it's very nice if you wanted a travel palette. You could totally use this to travel with. Personally, I would have liked to see just maybe one more matte shade, but we'll see. Once it gets on the eyes, we can see if we can build up depth with it, kind of go from there. There are two highlighters, and these are going to retail. One is upside down. I cannot get myself together. These are going to retail for $28 each. So the shade Soulmate is described as more of a gold and then in Bathe is a peach pink. Now Karen I Love Sarai did mention that these do look darker in the pan than they apply on the skin and I have been receiving so many requests to try out the highlighters on my skin tone so I'm very excited to do that today. I'm going to try one of them on each cheek and we'll kind of go from there and then there are a buttload of lip colors Oh my goodness, Dose of Colors, first of all, can we rewind real quick? Dose of Colors is in my top three favorite indie brands of all time. I just love Dose of Colors. I have supported them forever. I used to wear their like old school lipsticks on my cheeks as blush. I think it was Koi that I used to wear on my cheeks as blush like every day. And I just love Dose of Colors. I love the owner. I think she's really sweet as well. Anyways, now that I'm done gushing, the formulas of Dose of Colors lipsticks are my favorite as well. They're liquid lipsticks, they're satin lipsticks, everything. So there are four matte liquid lipsticks in here. I love the packaging of this. I just think the packaging is really beautiful. It's kind of like that soft touch packaging. And then we have two glosses as well, which now that I'm low-key a gloss girl, I'm okay with it. And I never thought I would say that, but, you know, I just come to the gloss side a little bit. Just a little. I already primed my eyes. They're primed, prim, and proper. And we're going to be going in with this eyeshadow first, then the highlighters, and then I'll do lip swatches of all the colors, and then we can figure everything else out from there. It is launching when? July 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So do keep that in mind if you're looking to get this collection. It does launch on July 27th. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. And let's go ahead and get started. I would just like you to know that I cleaned all my brushes, so... I'm kind of proud of myself. Let's start off this eye look with the matte coral shade right here. And this is the shade Loungy. So I'm just gonna pick this up on a big fluffy brush and start to kind of like build this up slowly into my eye area, into the crease mostly. I don't know what look I want to go for today. Karen had a really pretty look where it was um, the center teal shade was kind of all over, I think. Maybe we can go that extreme, I don't really know. So there is virtually no kickback with this eyeshadow and it seems to be kind of just blending itself out, which I'm quite excited about because, I mean, who wants to do all that work to blend everything out, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, so that applied like super, super easy. Now I'm gonna be taking the other matte shade called Wanderlust and this is kind of like a sienna. She described it as a sienna color. I watched her video and I was the whole time I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for her. And I'm gonna be placing this into the crease as well. The black shade, literally, I wish you could see how intense it looks in the pan because it looks as if it has a bunch of different sparkly colors in the black. And I'm really excited to try it on the eyes, but low key also nervous because I don't really wear a lot of like darkness on the eye. I forget like, I was just at the gym and kind of like gripping onto the handles of everything really hard. And for brushes, you kind of want to just loosen your grip. So it's just taking me a second to like 
jump back into it. I'm gonna just pick up a, oops, that brush just fell. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of that shade we used before. And this shade has like no kickback to it either, which I think is cool as well. I love the five, is it five pan Joseph Colors eyeshadow palettes? I really love those. They're all matte and I just, I just love them. And I'm just gonna take that bigger brush with no additional product, just diffusing everything. These really do blend so beautiful. I think on a bit of a bigger brush, I'm gonna mix those two shades to just create a little bit of a middle ground between the lightest and the darkest shade. And that's something that you can do when you only have two shades. You can just mix them together to create kind of like a third. I really like doing that because then you can really take the product a lot further. I feel like it's looking less blended on camera than it is in real life. That's so strange because in real life, it's like has a really nice fade from the darkness. On camera, it doesn't really look like that. Okay, so I'm kind of basing my eye look off of this eye look, and I don't know if I can do this. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be that good. I'm gonna be taking the center shade called Palma. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think I am. Oh, maybe I should apply this with my finger first, and then I can maybe go in with a brush. Oh, well, okay then. That, my finger's not wet, my lid is not wet, there is no additional, any helping going on. This is super intense. And it has just the tiniest hint of green to it, and I really love that. When I get to the very inner portion of the eye, I think I'm gonna just use a brush here. You really wanna use packing motions with this because you don't want it to fall down and kind of get everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's really pretty. I am getting a little bit of fallout down on my nose, but honestly, that's fine. I didn't even use like a glitter glue or anything. Okay, and then I'm just gonna flip that brush over and dip into that black shade called Finder's Keepers and just focus this onto the outer portion of the eye. Oh, and you can see the multi-dimensional reflect in here really nicely. I got it a little too high, like higher than I wanted it to. I'm just using that blending brush to kind of just diffuse that out. Then I can kind of go in here and clean that up with a makeup wipe. Just gonna pick up a tiny bit more of that shade to bring the back that intensity that I kind of blended away. I'm just gonna go back and forth on that blue teal color and then on that black color. Just kind of blend them back and forth. Okay, so I'm just quickly gonna clean up that fallout and then kind of go right below my lower lash. Drag that out to really clean that up. I didn't want to blend the black out too, too much. Like I just wanted it to be a little hint in the crease. If you wet your brush, I can only imagine how much more intense these would be, but they look really pretty on the eyes. Okay, one thing I will say is that black is very, very, very potent and the tiniest bit goes a really, really long way. I'm just gonna go in with that sienna shade that we used before. And I'm gonna just smoke this onto the lower lash line and I already went ahead and applied some uh, concealer just on my lower lashes. My lower lashes, I don't know, I didn't. I applied it on my under eye area. I'm gonna use somewhat of a blending brush in that peachy shade just to diffuse out that color. So it looks as if in her picture she has that teal shade on her lower lash line. I'm just gonna wet my brush with some all-nighter setting spray, and then I'm gonna just go right into the very corner, because I don't know if this is gonna mess up the shadow and I don't wanna do that. But I'm gonna just bring that right onto the lower eye area. We're just gonna kind of mirror where that blue is. I love the green that really comes out in this shade. And I'm just wetting it here because I don't want to risk any more fallout since I already do have my concealer done. I just don't want to risk it. Okay, and then for the outer portion of the eye, I'm going to be using that black shade. One more time, just spritzing it really, really nicely. I'm going to be placing that onto the outer portion of the eye. And I, again, just spritzed it because I didn't want to risk any fallout onto the lower lash line. I wanted it to be a little bit more intense than it already is too, which is saying something because it's very, very intense. Just having those shades down before, those matte ones, will help everything look a little bit more blended as well. But I'm gonna go in with just any brush, kind of just diffuse that black out just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Oh my gosh, I love that teal shade. And then finally, on the inner portion of the eye, I'm taking Paquito Matte and applying that right to the very inner. Ooh, that's gonna be really pretty when you just have the matte shades in the eye. 
And then you can just place this all over the lid and it would be so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is like such a pretty inner corner highlight. And I didn't dampen my brush for this one either. So now I'm quickly gonna go put on mascara and lashes and contour and do blush. And then I will be back for the highlighter and the lip colors. Okay, so I decided to put like a little bit of a sass lash on because I thought that it was like much needed and these are the Iconics. I noticed that a little bit of the glitter has kind of migrated up into the crease just a tiny bit. I'm not upset about it. I actually am obsessed with this eye look, like completely obsessed. And so I do have the two highlighters to try out and I swatch them and I think the shade Bathe would actually on my skin tone it would maybe work better as like a blush, oh my god, as a blush chopper. Because as you can see when the light's not on it, I don't want that to happen on my face. But I feel like as a blush chopper, it would be really gorgeous. And then the other shade, Soulmate, I can just use as a highlighter. So I actually am going to do that just so we can kind of see. And it's super pigmented, so I think I only need like, I'm going to dip in like that much. Tap off the excess. And then really just start to swirl this into the skin. I feel like as a blush topper it works, which I'm very into blush toppers. I just used this one and I have the exact same one here. I'm gonna use that for Soulmate and I'm gonna just do the same thing where I lightly dip in and then start to work this onto the top of my cheekbones. It's gonna catch the light so nicely. I did want to slowly build this up until I could get the nice pigmentation that I wanted to because I wasn't sure how the undertone was really gonna be here. And then I really want to see how this actually kind of melts into the skin. So I'm taking my Pixie Glow Mist, which I always take. I'm just spraying that on top of the highlighted areas. Oh wow, that like really <laughs> intensified it. I could just feel that it needed to set into the skin a little bit and it just looks really pretty once it does. These are very pigmented, I will say, so if you are not a fan of a really intense highlighter, then these might not be for you, but if you work slowly, you can start to really build up the pigmentation of the highlighter and go from there, but I love the way that it looks. Okay, so we have four matte lipsticks and then two glosses, and I'm gonna go ahead and be swatching all of these for you, and then I will come back and give you my final thoughts about everything. Okay, so for the finished look, I decided to pair Fressa with the eye combo that we have going on. Fressa is looks in person a little bit more on the strawberry red side where it has a little bit of a pink to it. On camera right now, it's looking a little bit more orange, but in person it, it is looking more pink. 
Let's wrap up my final thoughts. Oh my gosh, I can literally not stop staring at this eyeshadow. Like the color is amazing. The vibrancy is amazing. Everything about this eyeshadow is like I'm obsessed with. I think this is the big winner for me is the eyeshadow. Originally walking into this, I was like, oh my gosh, I wish there was one more matte shade. I can see how all of these colors can work with just these two matte shades. I can see it and I see what she was going for and I think she did really beautiful on this. The formula is so amazing, it blends itself. For the highlighters, if you are someone that doesn't really like a very intense highlighter, I don't think you would like these. They are a little bit more intense than other highlighters I've tried from Dose of Colors, so just keep that in mind. And once you start working it into the skin and then you spray like a Pixie Glow Mist or something like that, it just really melts into the skin and just looks so, so beautiful. My favorite was Soulmate, and I just loved the way that it looks on top of my cheekbones. When I look straight ahead, I don't get any weird cast, but then when the light hits it, it just looks really beautiful. And all of the lip colors I loved, yes, we've seen similar colors from different brands. Dose of Colors is my favorite liquid lipstick formula ever, though, so I'm very excited to have these colors. And the shade Nude Chica, I feel like, is gonna be my new go-to nude color. And I just loved that color. I love all of the colors. I'm just so overall very happy with this collection. And I think Karen and Dose of Colors did an amazing job. And if you're watching this, how proud I am of you. And I hope that you feel equally as proud because this collection is just gorgeous and stunning. And I cannot wait to wear it more. And I'm going to go take pictures of this eye look now because I'm really obsessed. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.